pitch in the frame. Pause, I don't control. I paint word pictures on I don't the control the follow. I want to live forever. I want people to mention my names with the best, not the best black writers, but the best writers of all time. I started to write this book like, like three years ago. I called it Black Wall Street because that's what me and my partners used to call what we was doing. Let my big homies read it. I was telling too many truths in it. So they was like, yo, bro, you can't call it Black Wall Street. You got to call it something else. So like I had to reinvent it. And that's how I birthed uh, the streets have no king. <laughs>my upbringing, my family, my enemies, my friends. It's closest to my heart. You know, we was around a lot of uh, a lot of Detroit dealers. And, um, you know, I noticed him paying attention at a real, real young age, you know, coming from where he came from and what he had to, you know, endure at such a young age, as should I say, you know. And um, when he took heed in that early, man, and he took off. He was able to elevate to other shit, and that's what he's doing now. Clifton Bell here speaking about my brother, Jaquavis Coleman. He utilizes his voice and his tone to paint these vivid pictures into his writing. These awesome street tales that the world has grown to love. And to be so young, I find it fascinating that he has been able to master writing with the pen and the soul of a seasoned street hustler articulated in a modern day Shakespearean fashion. I know that's a lot to uh, digest, but that's just um, my take on the brother Jaquavis. So Hollywood Cole, keep doing what you do. Keep blessing the world with your gift. And we're excited about the possibilities of what's to come in your life.